No wonder people get swept away by the feet. If they dip the feet in there, you just get pulled straight under. Now, if you type the question into Google, how deep is the strid? You don't get the answer you're really craving. And that is the exact reason I've come down to Bolton Abbey, to the strid, with my sonar fishing rod, to tell you the answer to that question. Don't click away, because what I found is absolutely amazing. Now, on a side note, this is the most money I've ever spent to dedicate to a video on my channel. So, if you guys would be so awesome to hit the like button to answer this unbelievable question, then I would really appreciate that. It means a lot to me, and hopefully, with the YouTube algorithm, a lot more people will see the video and get the answer to this age-old question of how deep is the strid. And I'll hand you over to Editor Jack, who will be doing a voiceover for the majority of this. What is going on guys, Editor Jack here, back at base, just reviewing the footage that I've got from today. Now I want to go over a few things before we get into it, which is just to cover the basics of the strid, just so you've got a bit of backstory as to why I'm even here today. Now I'm assuming a lot of you have seen the strid before, or heard of the strid before. It's part of a river that runs through Bolton Abbey, which is the River Wharf or the River Wharf. I, d I don't know how to pronounce it properly, but I'm sure someone in the comments will correct me. This section of the River Wharf uh, is known as the Strid, where essentially the river, the river Wharf is, I don't know, let, let's say it's 20 metres wide at its widest point, but the River Strid becomes about a metre and a half to two metres wide, and essentially it flips upside down and becomes the idea of it is it becomes 20 meters deep at that point instead of 20 meters wide because it's going through a, a really funneled section now the rock that you can see me walking on is actually not the banks of the river it's just an overhang so beneath me is multiple cave systems that the river has pushed through and grinded to make lots of different holes and yeah just just a, a pretty much a mess beneath the water there People have been unfortunate enough to lose their lives in the Strid. One was as recent as 2010, I think it was. A flash flood happened, uh, it was newlyweds, they got caught in the flash flood and I think the, the male was found straight away. Uh, his body was found straight away, but the, the female wasn't found for two to three months. Someone might need to fact check me on that because I'm not 100% sure, but the story goes something like that. And then there's there's multiple stories throughout history of young children thinking it, it's safe and getting in and never getting back out again. So the Strid does have a very dark side. This isn't the first time I have done a video on nature that has a dark side. I'll put a, I'll put a comment in the, in the description if you want to see another video that I've done about a, a really dangerous place. In, uh, in England to go swimming. But without further ado, let's uh, get into the sonar clips and show you the depths that I recorded today. It's absolutely mind blowing. Now, this part that you're looking at right now is as I model um, the actual sonar scanner that I'm using. Um, this is the the end of the strid. So we're starting at what, what would be the shallowest end of the strid. So people actually swim up to this point. You can see on the reader that I'm reading, you know, depths of, at the start I was reading two meters and then as I go through there, I'm getting, you know, average five meters. Um, I think at one point I, I, I find like some holes that are maybe like six to seven meters deep there. But as I go further and further out, um, out of the strid, that is, I get shallower and shallower. Um, so we're going to get deeper and deeper as we go to like the more turbulent part of the strid and um, so let's let's jump to the the next clip so this clip i am about 15 to 20 meters further up so towards the uh the iconic turbulent waterfall section of the strid uh i'm really this is the first time using this so i'm really struggling to get the hang of you know you might see at the top there it keeps saying too shallow too deep warning it, it's basically not getting a reading back from the sonar signal that it sends down it sends a signal 60 times a second i think i'll have to check the uh i'm sure i've seen that on a video somewhere 60 times a second it'll send a signal and it'll wait for it to come back 
um, but it's not until I drag it further down this section here that I start to find some deeper points um, where you can see it like shoots up to 10 meters deep, 13 meters deep. Um, and then essentially if I keep the if I keep the rod in the exact same position, it will continuously reprint that image. So the brown section that you see and come across the black. So the black is the water, the brown is supposed to be the, the floor or the rock that it's hitting. Um, if I keep it in the same place, it'll continuously reprint that that same section over and over and over again up to 60 times a second essentially um but i get the feeling that it's hit and miss with some of these signals coming back up uh it's really difficult to to hold it steady in the water so because it this water's really even at this calm part there's still quite a bit of an undertow you can probably tell from me trying to drag it so let's go to the next clip so you'll see at this section it start, I start to get a reading at about 10 as soon as I put it into the water, 10 metres that is. And then it start, I guess it starts to pick up the signal again and it instantly shoots to 34. See a bit of 35 every now and then. Um, but it was really difficult in this area. This is about the middle halfway point of the strid. And it's really quite turbulent around that, that boulder there that you see in the bottom right of the frame. Um, and I'm having difficulty holding it in in position and it keeps uh, like shooting between 30 25 30 25 you'll see it towards the end of this clip here um as it should start to shoot towards 25 ish now yeah um so as i push it a little bit further upstream there it seems to get a little bit shallower as you as i move further along but let's go to the next next clip now this is where things get really interesting so i've i'm about 15 meters away from the most turbulent part of the strid here and you can see as soon as i've dropped it in i'm getting readings of above 50 meters deep my jaw absolutely dropped when i seen this because uh, anything on google at the moment says roughly 38 to 40 meters is a current known depth and i'm immediately getting readings in this section for above 50 so already i've found much deeper places than what is already known to be so let's get to the moment you've all been waiting for, the deepest part of the strid. My mind was blown. I think this is as close as I'm going to be able to get to the actual turbulent part of the strid, the actual waterfall part. I can't, I don't want to put myself in too much danger, so I'm going to have a go at putting the, uh, the sonar ball down here, just in this, this section here and see if what readings we can get. Hopefully something interesting, hopefully another 50 meters like we did, like six or seven meters down from where I'm scanning now is where we found the, uh, the like 54, 57 meter depth area. So let's have a look at what this, uh, what this bit looks like. So yeah, I'm watching this back live with you, by the way. So my commentary is exactly what you're seeing right now. Oh my God, my skinny legs, right? Forget the legs, but I'm trying to find a way down <laughs> to the, to the, well, a safe part so I can get it in this very frothy water. Um, I'll cut back to the live audio. Obviously, it's really noisy with the, the waterfall there, but I'll cut back to the live audio when I realise the depth that I've found. Um, I'll, I'll get the uh, the ball in the water here in a second and I'll put the uh, the image up on your screen. Uh, give it a thumbs up, ready to go there. Right, the ball's in the water, so I'll get the clip on the screen for you now. So here we are, you can see it immediately shoots to 65.9 metres deep. That is absolutely crazy. I was so shocked when I read this. Um, I'll cut back to the live reaction. Uh, it do, It's not appearing straight away for me. Um, we're a little bit ahead, just so I can uh, get this video moving along. But... Essentially, the orange that you can see instead of the black, it's because I've been walking about with it and it's been scanning the floor as I've been moving along. But my live reaction's coming along now, so I'll leave it to that now. <laughs> 65. 65. Yeah, so I continue to scan this area. I, honestly, it, it, I felt like if you stood on the edge of a mountain and you looked down, 65 meters is a huge drop so when i was stood on this area i just i couldn't i couldn't comprehend 
the actual level of depth that was beneath my feet here. Um, I'm sure a lot of you watching are actually shocked at this as well. Um, but yeah, apologies for the orange block wall there. It's just because I've been walking about with the actual ball, so it's bouncing from the floor. I've been holding it like a meter off the floor, so that that's why there's a huge orange brick wall there. Um, but yeah, 65 meters deep. Let's uh, let's let's review. Oh my god. I genuinely can't believe that that is 65 meters deep. So if we, if we go off the conclusion that just down there was about 54 meters and then up here is 65. And then slightly further up. Slightly further up at the actual turbulent part. I guess we could say if we stick another 10 meters on there, 10 meters of depth. Well, here we are at the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope it finally gave you the answer to how deep is the strid. It's still blowing my mind right now that that thing is 65 meters deep. No wonder it is as dangerous as it is. So please guys, if you go and visit this place, please do it safely. Um, I was very careful when climbing down the side to uh, to put the, uh, the sonar ball in. Um, yes. I was on my own and yes, I wasn't tied off on 23 in, but th there was people around me. That doesn't mean to say that I would have got out or that would have been any help, but please just be careful. Um, and there was a few people that I met out there that you know were interacting with me while I was there. So hello to everyone that I seen on the day. It was wonderful to meet you and yeah, I'll get that footage to you at some point because uh, you're asking for some drone footage. I'll, I'll get that sent over to you. But thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like and a comment from where you are in the world. I love to hear all that. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye.